Get us ready. Get us ready. Get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready. Get us ready. Get us ready for you, Lord. For the coming of the Lord. For the coming of the Lord. Let your fire fall. For the coming of the Lord. For the coming of the Lord. Mm. Let your fire fall. Hello, Tony. I'm giving everybody a moment to come on. Just a moment. Giving them a moment. But I'm singing something that um, God dropped in my spirit. I posted it earlier. But... Uh... Hey, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Get us ready. Get us ready. Get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready. Get us ready. Get us ready for you, Lord. For the coming of the Lord. For the coming of the Lord, let your fire fall. For the coming of the Lord, for the coming of the Lord, let your fire fall. You know, God dropped that in my spirit today. And he also put in me, he says, y'all mindset the mindset of the people, the people of God is gearing towards the wrong direction. We should actually be the angels. Do you know the angels are being prepped? They're being prepped and they ready to come. They're, they're sitting on they're sitting and and, and 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 there's seven of them that's getting their trumpets ready and and, and and I can hear them get us ready get us ready get us ready for you Lord get us ready get us ready get us ready for you you lord for the coming of the lord for the coming of the lord let your fire fall for the coming of the lord for the coming of the lord uh let your fire fall the saints should be shouting for joy right now the saints, the people of God should be shouting for joy right now. Why should we be shouting for joy? All the turmoil and things that are going on around the world. Do you not understand what God has done? Like, if you actually sit back for a moment and truly, truly open your heart to the Lord God Almighty and truly, really hear him and realize what he has done. Woo! Get us ready. Uh, get us ready. Uh, get us ready for you, Lord. Mm. Get us ready. Mm. Get us ready. Mm. Get us ready for you, Lord. <laughs> for the coming of the Lord. Uh, for the coming of the Lord. Uh, mm. Let your fire fall. For the coming of the Lord. Mm, for the coming of the Lord, mm, let your fire fall. 
one of the things y'all need to realize first off first off y'all don't understand you know Years ago, long time ago, when I was young, you know, you heard this saying, be careful what you pray for. Be careful what you pray for. Be careful what you pray for. I didn't even truly understood that until I became an adult, truly into the word and have really given my life over to the Lord. I didn't understand what that meant when it says be careful what you pray for because as human beings we really don't understand what it is that we need and what it is that we want so the holy spirit has to come in and pray for us amen so a lot of the things that we have prayed for some of it we are seeing in fruitation right now. What am I talking about? We always ask for God to come down. We always ask for the presence of the Lord. We always ask spirit fill us. We always pray, Lord God, give us the knowledge. Give us the wisdom. Give us the understanding. We always praying, God come, God come, God come. <laughs> Here he come. <laughs> Lord, get us ready. Mm. Get us ready. Mm. Get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready. Mm. Get us ready. Mm. Get us ready for you, Lord. For the coming of the Lord. Mm. For the coming of the Lord. Mm. Let your fire fall. You know why I'm not afraid of the fire of the Lord? I'm one of those kids. I'm one of those kingdom kids that have been bullied on the playground. And my father said he has had enough. And he telling me, daughter, I'm coming to take care of business. So I'm one of those kingdom kids that's that's putting my shoulders back. <laughs> because I'm so sick and tired of Satan. Like, for real. I'm so tired of the hands of Satan. I'm so tired of the hands of the wicked. I'm so tired of the hands of the evil. I've been on the playground and I've been bullied. Okay? So my father's coming. My father is coming. And this is a joyous occasion for me personally. This is a joyous occasion. You know, there are people who are running around and 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 they are in fear of the fire of God to fall on this planet. They are in fear because they know they know they not right. They know they not right. But I'm going to be like Jesus. You know, in chapter 17, John 17, I want to point this out. I want <coughs> I want to point out John 17. It's it's it's, it's so powerful and profound and and if y'all have not noticed, pastors, prophets, teachers of the word, if you have not noticed that the word of God, this word, this Bible has been activated, it is literally alive. And God is speaking through his word right now. He is speaking through his word. And <laughs> oh, and in and, and John 17, in John 17, he prays for himself. Then he prays for the disciples that he chose at that time. And then he prays for all of those that will come and believe in the disciples' words after he has gone. Okay. And 
earlier in this video if you if you're just coming on So I want you to notice that the title says stat status quo, status quo, the, ex the existing state or condition. So one for one, I want to point out, OK. Other things that we've been praying for, how they are coming into fruitation. If you look and you actually pay attention. Right now. Everybody all over the world is on the same level. What are you talking about, LaShonda? Listen, no racism. This thing has no color. No rich, no poor. This thing has nothing to do with money. No, your president, your pauper, none of that. Everybody, everyone is on lockdown. A state of emergency. And we're all at the same time. Doing what? Seeking God. Seeking the Lord. <laughs> the status quo. We are all. We are all. On the same level. Now, when all of this is over, how the people are going to respond afterwards, then it's going to shift again. It's going to shift again. But for this moment, y'all need to write down, because this is history in the making. History in the making that everybody is on the same level there is no you're black you're white there is no you're poor no rich right now we all have to be on lockdown every last one of us So I want to pray. I want to no, I want to show you a prayer that Jesus prayed for this. Especially for the people of God. He did not pray for the world. Only the people of God. He prayed that we become one. That we become one. Okay? So in John 17, and if you happen to have your Bible or a Bible app or whatever, you can read along with me. But in John 17, it says, these words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. He's saying, he's saying, Father God chose a certain amount of people, a number of people that he gave to Jesus. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God. Look at what he's praying. And Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on, on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self 
with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So then he goes and he prays for the disciples. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were. So he's saying they were yours. And thou gavest them me. And they kept and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And they have known surely and they believed that thou didst send me. Okay, so look at what he says. Verse 9. I really want y'all to pay attention to this because Y'all, the mindset of the people of God, I'm not even talking about the people of the world. The people of God, the body of Christ. The mindset of the body of Christ. You need to allow God to... There we go. Wow. Okay. It's all good. I'm back. I'm back. Now, as many times as I have come on live, okay, I'm going to tell y'all, as many times as I have come on live, my phone has never had a bad connection like that before. <laughs> But it's all good. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. All right. So, and I see on my end, I got it playing on my on my desktop. It looks a little fuzzy, but for me, I look clear. So let me know that y'all can see me okay and that y'all can hear me okay. So we were in John 17 and, I, and, and we're, we're talking about the prayer that Jesus prayed before he was um, betrayed and, 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 and crucified. So in verse nine, it says, so he's praying for the disciples. He says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou has given me, for they are thine. I know, I know, uh, I know a lot of people, especially, especially people of God. They're going to have a hard time with this because they, they, they've never really paid attention and they, and they never really saw Jesus, who he really is. And when you stay in the word, you get to know him. You get to know who he, he, who he is, his walk, his talk, how his attitude, his characteristics, you know, how he was and how he is now today. So even now, even now, he is praying for his, those that were chosen by God, that God gave to him. So your name, my name, all of us that are a part of the body of Christ was in this prayer when he prayed. So he specifically at this time, he was praying for the specific 12 men that God chose to give to him. 
He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. So he said, Father, you gave them to me because they belong to you and you gave them to me. So these are the ones that I pray for. I do not pray for the world. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. So he's saying, I have to send them out to the world. I have to send these particular ones out to the world. He says, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. So he's saying, keep them so they can stay together. Keep them so that they can be one. Keep them because they are family. He, he's, he's adjusting. He's, he's creating the family, the body of Christ before he gets betrayed. He's saying, keep these and let them be one. He's establishing the body of Christ at this very moment. He says, let them be one, may be one as we are. So he's saying, Father, you and I are one. We are one. So let them be one just like we are. Verse 12, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that Thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee. And these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word and the world hath hated them because they are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world. See, body of Christ, people of God, you are not of the world. You're not of the world. Body of Christ, people of God, are you listening? You are not of the world. It says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So Jesus is saying, I need these disciples to stay in this world, but keep them from the evil, the evil that <laughs> is in the world. He's saying, keep them from that evil. Verse 16 they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. He says it again. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. So remember what I said, things that we have prayed for, 
are coming to fruitation right now. This prayer, the things that Jesus prayed for, is coming to full fruitation. It's coming to full fruitation. So in verse 20, he starts to begin to pray for all those that would come after the disciples, that would believe on the word from the disciples after he has gone after he has been crucified, after he has risen again, and he has gone home to be at the right hand of of the Father, to sit on the throne at the right hand of the Father. So in verse 20, he says, neither pray I for these alone. So he's saying, I'm not just fixing to pray for the disciples only. But for them also, which shall believe on me through their word. Listen to that. Through their word. He entrusted the 12 disciples with his word. That he knew that they would carry it out. To the world. So that's why he prayed first and said, Father, don't take him out of the world. Because see, you was on his mind when he was praying this. I was on his mind. The people of God was on his mind as he was praying this. So he said, Father, don't take the disciples out of the world because they have to they have to spread my word. So he trusted them with his word with him to carry out what he started. Okay, so neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one. What's happening right now? For a moment, in time, in history, what are we having to do right now? We are having to become one. And I'm not talking about the people of the world. I'm talking to the body of Christ, the people of God. That's who I'm talking to. People of God. Those that were chosen by the Father that he gave us to Jesus Christ. He says in verse 21, that they all may be one as thou father art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou has sent me. Glory to God. This is a prayer he prayed way before any of us was even born. But our names, we were already chosen. We were already chosen and the father God had already given us to Jesus. So when he's getting ready to be betrayed and get on that cross, he is specifically dying and rising for you. Body of Christ. Not the world. Not the world. The body of Christ. Those that were chosen by the father that the father gave to him. It says in verse 22, and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them that they may be one. Even as we are one, he says it again. That was one of his main purposes for us to be one. One. No division. 
no bickering, no arguing, no thinking different. Nobody's, you, oh, well, I believe this way or I believe that way. None of that. Your belief system right now, right now at this very moment, is sitting on the sidelines. Because guess what? You are all praying to the one God, the one God, the one true living God. You are praying all together. Your religious beliefs, your opinions of, of what the word says, all of that has been thrown out. Reset. God is saying, uh-uh, reset. He is resetting, giving you the mind of Christ. This is what you've been praying for. You've been praying to have the mind of Christ. You've been praying for the Holy Spirit to fill you. You've been praying for the fire to fill you, to give you overflow. So look at what Jesus was praying. Look at what Jesus prayed. Verse 23. I in them and thou in me. That they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that thou has sent me and has loved me and thou has loved me. So notice he keeps separating us, the people of God from the world. He does not count the world as part of us. He doesn't even pray and ask for the world to be one with us, the body of Christ. No. The world is to witness and to see and know that Jesus Christ was sent. That he was sent through us becoming one. Through us becoming one, they will witness and they will know. Says 24, Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am. Glory to God. Woo. That they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee. And these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name. And will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. This is what Jesus prayed for. This is what Jesus prayed for. So all this that's going on is coming to fruitation. Things that you've prayed for is coming to fruitation. You've asked for the Holy Ghost to come and fill you. You've asked for the Holy Fire of God to fall and rain on us. You've asked for these things to happen. So why are you shocked? Because just like he said, 
He's not praying for the world. He's only praying for those that God gave him. You are a chosen. That's why it says you are a chosen, peculiar people, a holy people to him. He's not praying for them out there that's in the world that don't know him, that don't want to believe in him, that are wicked, that are evil. He's not praying for them. He praying for you. He praying for you, people of God. He praying for you, kingdom children. He's praying for you, kingdom citizens. It specifically says, we are not of the world. We are kingdom citizens. We are kingdom kids. We are kingdom children. We are kingdom So those that are kingdom, you should be like a kid in the playground knowing your father finna show up and take care of them bullies. You should be having your head held high glorifying the Lord. Glorifying God said, come father, come. Take care of that wicked. Take care of that evil. Come, Father. Do what you do, Father. You've boasted about a lot of things. Boast about God right now. Boast about the Father. Show him off like he shows you off. He shows you off all the time. So now it's time for us to say, look at my father. Mm-hmm. He got this. Look at my father. Uh-huh. He in control. You looking at the bullies in their face and say, my father God finna come get you. And that's why I sing with the angels. I sing with the angels. Get us ready. Get us ready, get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready, get us ready, get us ready for you, Lord. For the coming of the Lord, mm. for the coming of the Lord. Mm. Let your fire fall. I am, listen. I've been bullied long enough and I'm ready for my father God to step on the scenes and take control and look the devil in his face and say, you've messed with my children too long. Glory to God. Glory. Yes, father God. This is our season, okay? This is our season. You are to get right. You are to get your house in order and and and, and be ready. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That is the reverence of the Lord, the reverence of God. Even in John, he says, I no longer call you servants. I call you my friend. You know, and it says a friend, a true friend, lay his life down for a friend. So we should rejoice. We should be rejoicing right now. We should be rejoicing and glorifying the presence of God is here. We've been praying for this. We've been asking for it. And the presence of the Lord is here. No sorrow. No tears. 
If you feel like you're not right with the Lord, get right. He waking you up. He giving you another day. He's giving you breath to get it right. But you are chosen. You are a chosen one. He's praying for you. He's praying that you get it right. He's praying and he's prepping and he's saying, get it right, child. He's saying, open your eyes, open your ears, hear my voice. He is the one that goes after the one and leave the 99. So you are a chosen, peculiar, holy person to the Lord God Almighty. So if you still got stuff inside you and, 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 and you feel that you feel that conviction, then just get right. Get right, because God is here and God is coming. God, 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 just what Jesus prayed for. He said, make them one as we are, Father. Make them one as we are, Father. Now, if that's not setting a fire in your soul, then you do need to revisit and reanalyze yourself. If the presence of God is making you want to run and hide, then you do need to revisit and analyze yourself. But saints, body of Christ, people of God, we should be glorifying and singing with the angels right now. We should be glorifying and singing with the angels and saying, Father God, yes, come, 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 Father, come, come, Father, come, come do what you do, Father, come do what you do, because the enemy done bullied me too long. The enemy done did what he did. He done had his way too long. Come, Father, come, come, Father, come. I've been waiting for this day. I've been praying for this day. I've been asking the Father, come, Father. Do what you do, Father. Avenge me, Father. Avenge me. Defend me, Father. God got your back. God got your back. He is a father. Do you not understand? He is a father. And he sent his only begotten son and his son says, I want them to be as one like we are. He prayed for us. He prayed for us before we were even a thought. If that's not setting a fire in your soul, then yes, you need to go back to the mirror. You need to go back and reanalyze. You need to go back and reevaluate where your heart really is. There should be a cell. You on lockdown. There should be a celebration going on because Father God is coming to the playground and he's fixing to face the bully in his face and say, get your hands off my children. Glory to God. (laughs) Glory, glory, glory to God. Lord, get us ready. Uh, get us ready, uh, get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready, uh, get us ready, uh, get us ready for you, Lord. For the coming of the Lord, mm, for the coming of the Lord, uh, let your fire fall. For the coming of the Lord, uh, for the coming of the Lord, uh, let your fire fall. I'm ready. And every day, 
I'm not perfect. And every day I'm saying, come on, Jesus, search my heart, search my soul, search my mind and get down deep and dig that root of sin out. Dig that root of sin out. I want to be made pure again. Purge me because when you come, I want to be able to stand right there in your face and be like, "Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for freeing me. Thank you for breaking that chain that was on my back. Thank you for breaking that yoke of bondage. Thank you for, 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 I've been on that playground too long being bullied. I've been bullied too long. So I'm ready for Father God to come. I'm ready for Father God's wrath on the world to show up. Okay? (laughs) My father don't play. (laughs) Our father don't play. Do y'all not understand what he is doing? Get into your word if you don't understand. If you don't understand, read, read, read every day, every day until you get it and say, Lord, what is she talking about? All these things that are happening in the world, in the world, we are not of the world. We just read that. Let those things happen in the world. Those things are happening in the world. We are not of the world. We are not of the world. And and, and this is not just coming from me. This is coming from the word. Okay. So if you wasn't following along and you wasn't reading along with me, I just read John 17. John 17. A prayer that Jesus prayed before he got betrayed. His plan. He said, I have to go and get sacrificed. I have to go and get crucified. I have to go and and, and go through this. And this is what I want. He's saying, this is what I want. First, he said, Father, I want to be glorified because I glorified you on this planet. I glorified you, Father, so now I want to be glorified. And then he said, the men that you gave to me, I placed your name on them. I placed your name on them and I gave them the word. I gave them me because you gave them to me. And now I want them to be one. I want them to be one and keep evil away from them. He said, because they are not of this world as I am not of this world. Then he prayed for all of them, all of us, all of us. He prayed for all of us that were chosen to be his. All of us, the reason he went and died on the cross for, for you, for me. All of us that he, that, that he, he our, our names was being placed in his heart. Our names, <laughs> the plan, the purposes. Why, 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 why we'll be here in, in the first place. But he says, you are not of the, we are not of the world. We just, we just live here. So let what is happening out there in the world we're supposed to be praying for one another, becoming one. We are one. We are supposed to pray for one another. It's. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm here. It's like us being on the play. We brother and sister on the playground. And I see you being bullied. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to stand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Testimony time testimony time he just brought to my remembrance the same thing 
I was in the sixth grade. Testimony time. I was in the sixth grade. And we were, I was in the locker rooms getting dressed for gym. We had to change clothes to get ready for gym. And I had these pair of shorts that I put on and they were my shorts, but they used to be my brother's shorts. My brother's name was written on the inside of the, of the trimming of the rim of the, of the shorts. And this girl, I was, I was so, some of y'all that went to high school with me that's on here, y'all know how skinny I was and how frail looking I was. And so this, this girl, she turns around and she's with, why you steal my shorts? Those are my shorts. You need to give me my shorts back. And she was really going to, conf- I mean, she was really confronting me and, and being a bully. And I was so shy and timid at that time. All I could do was drop my head to the, and, and I was looking down. I dropped my head. I was looking down. And in my mind, I was thinking, I don't want to have to show her my brother's name on these shorts to prove that these shorts are mine. They're not her shorts. And while I was thinking this, she was steady. You need to give me my shorts back and blah, blah. And she was like in my face, screaming and yelling. Do you know it was then it was. And I, I didn't realize this until later. I didn't realize this until I was an adult. How Jesus Christ was even then letting me know I got you. I got your back. You ain't got to do nothing. Just stand there. And as I was standing there, didn't know what I was going to do, didn't know what I was going to say, didn't know anything. I was standing there and this girl that did not know me, she didn't know me. We didn't even know each other's name or anything like that. She stepped in front of me. And this is what we supposed to do for each other all the time. She stepped, this is, this is her, this is God showing me how we stand in the gap for each other. And I didn't realize this until later, but, but I went through a physical example of what standing in the gap for each other looks like. So this girl, she comes not even knowing who I was, whether or not I was telling the truth, whether or not those shorts was mine. She didn't ask no questions, nothing. But she stood in front of me and she faced the girl that was bad, just bumping her gums at me. She stood in front of her and looked at her and said, If you want to get to her, you have to get through me. This is a true testimony. This really happened. God is bringing this to remembrance because this is how he is for us. This is how he is for us. He stands in front of us and he looks Satan in the face and says, you want to get to them? Then you got to get through me. And Father God is going, y'all not fixing to, bu- you're not finna to bully my children anymore. That was an actual true encounter. And me and that girl, we ended up becoming friends that stood in the gap for me that day. We ended up becoming friends. And let me show you how even deeper that testimony goes. 
at that time, girls of color would not have anything to do with me. I was discriminated against. And she was a girl of color, dark skin, every, like God used the very thing that that discredited me, the very, the very thing that 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 disowned me. They they wouldn't have nothing to do with me when I was in the sixth grade. And she became my first actual first black friend. I want y'all to get that. I want y'all to understand how God will use the very thing. God will use that very, the very thing that has been, that has been tormenting you or bashing you. Sometimes he'll use that very, very thing to be the thing that comes to your aid, that comes to your assistance. He will use that. That's, that's the father. That's the father having your back. That's the father having your back. That's the father saying, I'm right here, daughter. I'm right here, son. Don't worry. Don't worry. You ain't got to lift a finger. I will avenge you. I will defend you. I will do it. Father God. Father God say he ain't playing. He not playing with the world no more. Because the world done bullied the body of Christ for too long. The world done bullied the body of Christ for too long. This is why you see a smile on my face. This is why this is a joyous occasion. This is why we should celebrate the coming of the Lord. We should celebrate the coming of the Lord. Of the Father. We should be celebrating his hands in this. You know, have you ever been you we we we've watched those really, really powerful families. We've watched those powerful families and all that stuff. We got godfathers and all this and by we got the true godfather, okay? Here he come and he got your back. He got your back, okay? He ain't playing. We are not of the world. We just read that. We are not of the world. And Father God says, Satan, you have bullied my children too long. We been praying for this. So don't be afraid for Father God to come and rain fire and brimstone on the world, let him be. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you feel like you're not ready, get ready. Get us ready. Uh, get us ready. Uh, get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready, uh, get us ready, uh, get us ready for you, Lord, for the coming of the Lord, uh, for the coming of the Lord, uh, let your fire fall for the coming of the Lord, uh, for the coming of the Lord, uh. Let your fire fall. Do y'all not hear the angels singing? They ready. They ready to come down. They ready to come down and do what they got to do. Them angels are standing there. The seven with their trumpets, the, the seven seals that are being broken. They, they, they ready to come. And I'm, and I'm praying, come down angels. You have charge over me. Angels. What? Why are you not on your post? <laughs> you know how long I've been praying that. Like, where, where are the angels that's supposed to have, have, have charge over me? Where are the angels that's supposed to have? That they're supposed to. My entourage, okay, Father. Where is my entourage? Where, where are they at? 
I'm telling you, I'm one of those kids. I'm one of those kingdom kids that 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 know I'm part of royalty. I I'm a royal child of God. Okay, and Father, uh, hello. Where are the angels at? Well, he's putting them on a post right now. Things that we've been praying for, we've been asking. We've been praying for this. Why are you crying? No more tears. No more tears. If you're not right with the Lord, get right. You got you got a chance and an opportunity right now. You are on lockdown. Get into that word. Get into the word, pray and say, Father, you know what? All this time, I really don't know you. I want to get to know you. Who are you, Father? Because you've been in that you've been that kid in the mansion that's been that that's been hiding in the in the back room because you because you know you've been doing wrong. You know how when we get disciplined when our when when our when our mama well in my family it was my auntie. My auntie was the one that would whoop my tail. Okay, <laughs> you know when you in trouble, but you know you a child of God. You already know that as a child of God, all you got to do is just come face him and say, you know what? I did wrong. I I, I, I did. I, I did it. And he going to look at you and say, I love you. Go and sin no more. I forgive you. Go and sin no more. Don't do it again. Parents, you should understand this. Parents. You should understand this. When we look at our children and we de- even if, even if we give them a spanking or a whooping or put them in time out or whatever, then we turn around and we say, I love you. Now do not do it again. But you are not of the world. That grace, that mercy when you are a parent, parent, I know you understand this, but when you are a parent, that grace and that mercy and that type of unconditional love only go for your children. And that's, that's, it's the same for the father. That kind of grace, that kind of mercy, that kind of unconditional love that only goes for us. For his children, the body of Christ, the very ones that he just prayed for in John 17. If you're just coming on, read the John 17, the prayer that Jesus prayed. And he specifically says, I do not pray for the world. I pray for those that you gave to me, Father. Those that you gave to me, Father. Those who are his children. His. His that belong to him. Get us ready. Uh, get us ready. Uh, get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready. Uh, get us ready. Uh, get us ready for you, Lord. For the coming of the Lord. Mm, for the coming of the Lord. Mm. Let your fire fall. Who glory to God. That song was dropped in my spirit this morning today and it's sticking with me. It is it it just keeps repeating itself. My soul is singing it. Y'all don't understand how I've been praying. I I am one of those bullied children of kingdom kids. I'm a kingdom kid that was literally bullied on this planet, on this earth, in this world. That the world has bullied me, okay? Been attacking me since birth. <laughs> so y'all got to understand my joy. 
<laughs> Y'all have to understand my joy. Y'all have to understand. I have been waiting for the day Father God his presence. I used to, I remember in my 20s how I used to pray and, and I would see the relationship that he had with Moses. I would pray and I would I would be like, I want you to talk to me like that. Like I want you to come and have an actual audible conversation with me, Father. I used to pray these things. Because every time I read it, I knew that it was possible. I knew that it was possible to actually hear God, to, 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 to see and be surrounded. He would come in a cloud. He would come in a cloud and hover over the people and literally talk to them. And they turned around and had the gall to say to Moses, tell God to not come to us like that anymore. Cause they was a, they, they was one of those children that ran in the room because they knew they did wrong and they didn't want to get disciplined. I've, I've, I've already gotten to a point where I do something wrong. Father, I did it. It was me. I did it, Father. And many, many times he said, okay, child, don't do it again. <laughs> don't do it again. And that's what he's saying right now for some of you. Some of you, if you feel like you're not right with him yet, he loves you. He loves you. Get it out. Get it out, whatever it is. Just go on and confess. Give it to him. Forgive who you need to forgive. Anybody that has ever hurt you in your life. And come on, let's get ready. Let's get ready for, for, for the presence of the Lord to really come and rain fire on this planet. It needs to be cleansed. That's what you're praying for. You are praying and asking Father God, cleanse, cleanse. You steady keep saying it. Cleanse, Father. Cleanse the land, Father. Cleanse. What did he say in the word? He said, the wicked will be plucked out. The wicked will be plucked out. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Cleanse. That's what you're asking. So just like at the beginning of this video, if you're just coming on, I said, you remember how they used to say, be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you pray for. Be careful what you pray for. I did a video the other day and Father God asked this question. Are you really, really ready for him to come? You know, my hands went up. I said, yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Come, come, come down. Heaven fall. Fire fall. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit. I don't put God in no box. Do what you do, Jesus. How many of y'all can pray that way? How many of y'all can sit there and say, I, I have been bullied too long. I want my father God to come take care of this.
That bully been making you think you ain't nothing. When you royal, you royal, you come from a royal family. Do you not understand? You come from a royal family. You are a kingdom kid, a kingdom citizen, kingdom child, heaven bound. Do you not understand? <laughs> Get us ready. Get us ready. Get us ready for you, Lord. Get us ready. Get us ready. Get us ready for you, Lord. For the coming of the Lord. Mm. For the coming of the Lord. Mm. Let your fire fall. For the coming of the Lord. Mm. For the coming of the Lord. Mm. Let your fire fall. Y'all, I love you so much. I love you all. I love you. I love you. But just like Jesus, I'm not praying for the world. I'm praying for you, body of Christ, people of God. That's who I pray for. I pray for the body of Christ, people of God. And that we become one. That we become one, just like Jesus prayed. Let us become one. Let's stand in the gap for each other. And let's get ready. Let's get ready. <sighs> I'm going to let y'all go. I know it's getting late. I stay up all night anyway. I'm on my post. You know, I'm always, I have to stay, keep watch. A lot of times God is dropping lots of messages and, and things like that. He allows me to close my eyes for a moment, but I, I'll be right back up. So, Anybody want to talk? Anybody want to have a conversation? I am up. I I I I'm serious. I'll be up. You you want you want to pray together? If you if you feel like you need help getting ready, getting into the word, you need help to understand the word. You know, we I have no problem with with Bible studying with anybody throughout the night hours, especially if you are watchmen, your seers, your prophets, your teachers of the word, and God got you up anyway. He wakes you up two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, and 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 you know every morning at five thirty, I am on live reading the words of God. We are getting through the Bible, the whole entire Bible. We started November 1st and we're still pushing forward, pushing through. You are invited, but I am I am here all night. I'm 24/7 open to any prayers, any Bible study, any anything that that I know that I have that I can give to you. If you need it. So I love you. I love you all. Y'all should be. Y'all should be rejoicing. Right now. Rejoicing. Okay. All right. So you all have a wonderful. See I'm starting to yawn. A wonderful. Awesome. Beautiful. Blessed night. On purpose, and I will talk to you later.